Hi guys. Okay, I'm going to attempt to teach you the kettlebell swing. This is something that's really hard to teach, um, not in person, right? But I want to take you through the progressive steps that I think are the most successful to nailing a kettlebell swing. Again, um, always defer to a trainer if you have access to a trainer or if you have access to me. Um, if you live in Florida, I can come train you in person. Um, but uh, again, this will be the safest approach for you to build strength toward your kettlebell swing. Um, so, uh, first and foremost, we talked about plank and we talked about a hinge. Your swing is a hinge and a plank, that's all it is, right? So the bottom of your swing is a hinge and the top of your swing is a plank. Abs are nice and tight, right? Butt back, you're leading this motion with your hips. So I'm going to just try that a couple of times, right? Stand with your feet hip width apart, just chop your hips in half, push your butt back, and then drive your butt forward, boom, straighten your knees, that's the top of your swing, right? Again, chop your hips in half, butt back. Stand, hips back, snap the butt forward, and stand. That's a swing. Now let's add a little bit of uh, intensity into it, right? So uh, bring hands one on top of the other. This is simulating if you had a bell in your hands. This is the top of your swing. You're going to uh, chop and lock. So you want to chop your hips in half, right? That's the bottom of your swing. And then snap your thighs, come back to standing, right? So snap your thighs. Right? So that just simulates the power that uh, happens within a swing. Um, you are inhaling as you go down. Inhaling through your nose. Exhale at the top of your swing. Inhale on the way down. Exhale um, on the way up. That will help to engage your abs at the top of your swing, which is where you're going to need that ab engagement the most because your standing position is what? A plank. Yeah. Okay. Um, so <laughs> we're going to start with the, uh, the setup for the swing. The setup for the swing. So you're gonna need the kettlebell. Do not do this with a dumbbell. You'll just look really weird and it will not be the proper um, distribution of weight. So if you don't have a kettlebell, um, no sweat. Just stick to jump hinges, okay? Um, so your kettlebell setup is gonna be squat position, right? Your feet are about uh, shoulder width apart. You're gonna sit your butt down nice and low. You're gonna attach your hands to the handle of the bell. Pull the bell on the handle, right? And think of packing your shoulders. So you really want to think about bringing the shoulders back into the socket so that your lats are laying on lockdown. So from the side, it's going to look like this. Your kettlebell set up. You're sitting your butt down nice and low, pulling the shoulders back. Now take a look at my body and the angle that I'm creating. My hips are higher than my knees, but my shoulders are higher than my hips. So I'm creating a nice little V here um, in my body. So what it's not is it's not here, and it's also not here. Right? It's here. Boom. That's your setup for your swing. So when you practice that a couple times, get into uh, that position, right? So you can really feel the tension in that position. It should be challenging to hold that position for more than five seconds. Um, next, we're going to take this into the hike portion of the swing, um, which is the back end of the swing. Uh, so that's going to look like this. Hands on the bell. You're sitting down into your setup position. Eyes on the horizon. I'm going to hike the bell through my legs with uh, my power from my arms and power from my lats, and then set it back down where it started. So I'm going to hike, set the bell down. That's a hike. Hike, down. Hike, down. Keep my abs nice and tight. Keep my shoulders back. And I'm trying not to lift my hips too high. So I'm not lifting my hips every time, keeping my hips exactly where they were, or as close to as where they were as possible. That's your hike. That's the first part of any section of swings. From there, we're going to graduate our hike to one swing at a time. One swing at a time is technically called a dead stop swing or, uh, in some cases, a power swing. So this is where we're going to actually snap our hips and bring the bell up to nipple height. Uh, that's as far as you want to go with the Russian swing. There are some variations of the American swing where it goes all the way above the head, but not everybody has that, uh, that type of shoulder mobility for that range of motion. It just ends up hurting people more than it uh, helps them. So uh, this Russian kettlebell swing is going to swing um, all the way down to the hinge. We're keeping your chest slightly lifted toward the horizon. Your hands are high and tight between your legs. And at the top of the swing, it only comes to about nipple height. Again, no higher, because then it causes us to kind of lean back, right? So uh, the trajectory of that bell is going to go 
all the way through my legs, kind of tight, reach the bell to the back wall, snap the hips, and launch the bell forward. Um, now if you note, the rhythm is actually being led by the bell, right? So you're just a pendulum um, that's responding to the weight of the bell and that arc of the bell. Uh, so you want to wait for the bell on the downswing, right? So as it's swinging down, you want to wait to break the hips at the moment that it kind of touches your thighs. If you start to break too soon, the bell is going to swing too low, and then you run the risk of squatting and hurting your lower back. Right? So again, we always want to protect our back by going to the true hinge and true plank. Um, all right, so I'll show you what um, a hike to a power swing looks like, or a dead stop swing looks like, right? So I'm going to come down to my hike position. I'm going to hike the bell, snap the hips, and then set the bell down. So that's one power swing or one dead stop swing. So I'm going to do that hike just like you practiced. Hike, snap my hips, and then set the bell down. Now what's launching the bell forward? Is it my arms? Is it the bell? No, it's my hips, it's my butt, right? Because there's a lot of muscles in my lower body, my legs, my butt, my glutes, right? Um, so you want to use all of that musculature to its fullest potential. Uh, so don't use your arms or pull with the bell. You really want to make this, again, a hip dominant exercise where you're really leading with your hips, leading with your glutes to create power, to create force. So again, I'll show you what that looks like. Let's do a couple, let's do like five. So I'm going to hike, snap, set the bell down with honor. Hike, snap, set the bell down. Exhale at the top. Two more. Last one. That's what I want you to start with. The hike first, and then you start to do one at a time, aka power swing or dead stop swing. We'll progress during those swings in the next.